guys! Welcome back to my channel and today we will be checking the cheapest ASUS router that we can buy. Because there are some people who want a good brand but they are actually on a tight budget. And this will be the ASUS RTN12 Plus which costs around 1,100 pesos depending on the store that you'll be purchasing it from. The things that comes in the box is the quick start guide, the warranty notice, the router with two non-detachable antennas, one one port, four LAN port which are all pass Ethernet or only capable of 100 Mbps and of course a LAN cable and a power adapter. Other information on this router is this was released way back 2016. It is capable of a single band which is 2.4 GHz frequency and it is also known as an N300 model which means it can offer a wireless speed up to 300 Mbps. That is theoretically. It has three operating modes which is a wireless router, a repeater mode, and as an access point. This can create three guest network which is really helpful to protect your local area network from guests. Set a time limit for the guests or unlimited access. It is also capable of QoS, a traditional QoS and a bandwidth limiter where you can limit the upload and download speed of the connected devices. And lastly, a parental control where you can set the internet access schedule of the devices connected. And for the configuration, it is really easy to configure. You just need to get the router and get the power adapter and connect it to the wall outlet, get the other end, plug it in on the port at the back. And of course, you'll be needing the LAN cable coming from your internet service provider modem or from any router that has internet on it and just connect it to the one port of this router. It is also included or mentioned at the back, it is a one port. So this one is the last one. And after that one, you'll be needing a computer or a mobile phone and connect to the Wi-Fi name Asus F0. Then open a web browser, type in the IP address for the web GUI, which is 192.168.1.1. Then set a new password and set the SSID name and password for the SSID. Then it will redirect you to a login page, then enter the password you have entered earlier. Unfortunately, the password we have set did not work, so we need to enter it again. And the default credentials is admin for the username and for the password, it is also admin. Then after that, you need to enter a new login name and a new password which is will be admin and our password will be admin1234. Then, on the main page, change the Wi-Fi SSID and authentication method for a secure Wi-Fi connection. And then, you should have your internet access. Okay, for that one, I'm not really sure on the first config if it's a glitch, but I encountered it several times trying over and over again. And now, for the actual internet speed test. We are using a Converge Plan 2500, which is 100 Mbps internet speed. We will test at four location. The first one is my baseline testing or just on the same room where the router is located. Then the second location will be on our roof deck. I would just like to say that we have a concrete wall in our house, a concrete flooring as well. And of course, we will move further away from the router on our roof deck. While the third location will be on our bedroom, which is on the same floor of the router. And of course, we will move away further from the router again. And also close the door as well. Then on the last location, it will be on the first door or the ground floor. Then we will move outside and close the door for the testing. And for getting the result, we have done speed test three times on each location. And I will be showing the middle result, which is in the middle between the highest and the lowest result of the speed test. So on the three speed tests, the middle result will be much more accurate, I think. And on this chart, the Converge modem router performs better than the RT N12 Plus on our baseline and bedroom speed test. While looking on our roof deck on, on the first floor, we are able to perform a speed test on our Converge modem router. We are able to detect the Wi-Fi signal but when connected, it keeps on dropping and we are not able to perform a good speed test. Then let's try to do a Mobile Legends game on our bedroom. On our modem router, we are able to get a double digit latency around 30 plus, but we are encountering some drop connection. It is really uh, happening, but there is a drop connection a while ago. 
while connecting at the ASUS router, we are able to get a double digit latency as well, around 30 to 50, but we did not encounter any drop throughout the entire game. I think it's around uh, 30 minutes game. I completed the game and I haven't recorded the entire game actually. And of course, the birdie. This is a cheap router, but will it really be recommendable? I think it is really hard to recommend since based on our speed test, the stock modem router of Converge give us a better speed result. But what about the connection on the roof deck and the first floor? For me, that ASUS router was able to perform a speed test on those locations, but the result was not that significant. It's not that stable. But on our online games such as Mobile Legends, it performs better than the Converge modem router. And can we still use this router? Instead of making it as your main Wi-Fi connection, you can make it as your extender, meaning placing it on an area where, there, where your modem is having difficulties to reach. And there are other uses as well, the bandwidth limiter and creating guest Wi-Fi network and parental control because the main modern router that we have doesn't have that ability. And if you have spare money, I would suggest to go for the ac 59 b 2 or the RT-AC1300UHP. That is actually a better choice, but it's much more expensive. And I think that will be all for this video. I hope you like it. If you have suggestions, comments, don't forget to comment down below or on our FB page. Guys, I'm trying to answer as much as I can. And don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and stay safe. Bye!